The six Rankin County officers involved in the January abuse case of two black men face a second set of charges today. 12 News' Tia McKenzie has more about what's being called a historic verdict. A historic day not only for the two victims in the case, but also for the state of Mississippi. I hope um, this is a lesson to everybody out there. Justice will be served. That's right. Thank you. Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker were beaten and tortured by six white Rankin County deputies in January after the officers raided a Braxton home. Jenkins was shot in the mouth. Attorney Trent Walker says the officers were shown mercy. We do recognize that uh, mercy has been shown to these defendants because uh, with regard to the things they could have been charged with uh, versus the things that they actually were charged with. Uh, but in terms of our satisfaction, uh, we are satisfied that we are seeing a measure of justice and uh, that we will continue to see justice in this case as well as other cases. Brett McAlpin, Jeffrey Middleton, Christian Dedman, Hunter Elward, Daniel Opdyke, and Joshua Hartfield each enter the Rankin County Courthouse, wrist shackles to their waist in jail suits. Monica Lee Cameron says one of the officers, Hunter Elward, is responsible for the death of her son in 2021. I feel relieved that he's out the street. No, Hunter Elward, it was the one that with my son in July 21. It's a historic moment because I never thought this would come to this day. And Damien's older brother, Cornelius Cameron, says this is the first step to change. That's what it is. That's what it's about. We got to stand up for each other. And it feels good to see that. It's a big sigh of relief. It's a big sigh of relief, big step forward. Like I said, it took for this case to jump off, for they even had light shined on my brother's case because, you know, it's Rankin County. The six officers are now awaiting their sentencing in mid-November.